you go. <clears throat> What's up, guys? I'm Ryan from Ryan Tide Gaming, and today we're doing something a little, uh, a little different. Um, not different actually. It's just kind of someone, uh, something someone asked me to do. Um, I'm gonna go through the modern, or not modern, Medal of Honor, uh, unlock tree. So pretty much what you get for unlocking and ranking up in the campaign, the online. I mean, not campaign, the online. Uh, multiplayer so we're gonna start this up and go ahead and do that right away so bam turn it on and we're gonna do some unlock tree here this should be pretty easy I'm gonna turn on actually turn on the volume even though there's nothing really nothing we're missing here really danger close <laughs> Dice. Frostbite. Battlefield. Alright, so we get the Medal of Honor as usual, blah blah blah. Start button. Multiplayer. Medal of Honor again. I love Medal of Honor. Getting some loading. Alright, so when you go to multiplayer, you go over to career and you go up and you get your unlock tray. Now, let me go. You have to level one. You have all your different um, classes up top where you use your bumpers to go through here. You have your rifleman, your spec, ops, and your sniper. Um, so, for the first thing you get in the Rifleman class is the full auto assault rifles. Um, that's what you get for the level 1. Level 2, you get the combat... Oh, not, oh God. Alright. There we go. Okay, so level 2, you get your extra magazines. Level 3, you get your red dot scopes. Level 4, you get your light machine guns, which I have. Now, every time, like, you... See, there it is. Like, that's what I have now. Now, if you see on the top right, it has a little lock. That means I did, haven't uh, unlocked it yet. So the next thing I unlock is a suppressor. So it's a silencer that lesser recoil but slightly less damage and stealth is a good option. So it gives you all like your little uh, description down below. It tells you what it is, but it's like faded out if you didn't unlock it yet. And it's like uh, filled in with color if you didn't unlock it. So um, level 5 Rifleman is your suppressor, level 6 Rifleman is your open tip ammunition, which the bullets are, um, they increase damage and accuracy. A level 7 is the combat scope, so long range combat scopes vastly increase op operational range. Level 8, which is the tier 1 recruit, is the muzzle break, which, um, recoil compensators improves accuracy with a slight range reduction. Um, next is your F-2000 assault rifle, which you guys probably know from Call, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty. Um, level 10 is your veteran assault rifles, so veteran versions of standard firearms is trademark of more experienced soldiers. Level 11, uh, veteran light machine guns, so the same thing. Uh, level 12, enemy assault rifle, so tier 1 operators and elite soldiers often opt to use enemies arsenal instead. Uh, level 13, pistol ammo. Veteran soldiers make sure they have enough ammo for their sidearm. Level 14, enemy light machine gun. 15, extra grenade. So 15 is the max level for the rifleman, I think, maybe for all of them. So let's go over to Spec Ops. You get your carbines. Level 2 is your extra magazine. Your red dot for level 3. Your combat shotguns for level 4. Your silencer, again. Your slugs open tip ammo, so this is for the shotgun. Level 7 is your combat scope. Level 8 is your laser sight. Level 9 is your P90, which I love P90. Um, level 10 is your veteran carbines, so the same thing. They have a better version than the regular soldiers. Level 11 is your veteran combat shotguns. Level 12 is your enemy carbines. Uh, 13 is your pistol ammo, like I just said. The uh, enemy combat shotguns and an extra grenade. So that's that. That's your spec ops. And you max out level 15. So let's go to Sniper. Now this is my highest level, this is what I've been using the most. 
Um, so level 1 I have unlocked the battle rifle, the level 2 extra magazine, level 3 combat scope, level 4 bolt action sniper rifle, level 5 um, operator range finder, level 6 is your open tip ammunition which increased accuracy and increased damage which is awesome, um, level 7 I have the high power scope which I love the high power scope because when you use the, um, the ACOG that they give you like first that's what you use like your standard scope it's like awful compared to when you get this high power scope it's this high power scope is awesome so now this is the last level I'm on now this is what I have to unlock still the silencer the uh, G3 uh, battle rifle which you unlock at level 9 um, at level 10 you unlock the veteran battle rifles level t 11 you unlock the veteran sniper rifles uh, level 12 you unlock the enemy battle rifles level 13 pistol ammo 14 enemy sniper rifles and 15 the extra grenade so there it is guys that is um the whole unlock tree and that's what you get in every single class after you rank up now um let's go back i mean your stats like my sniper i'm a level 7 elite and that's how many uh, that's how many points you need on that class to rank up like i have 933 and i still need to get like a thousand more just to rank up and like it does take a little bit like this 933 points uh, took me probably, uh, let's see, two or three games to get, and I was getting over 20 kills a game. So, I mean, that does take a while. And I haven't been using the Rifleman or Spec Ops as much. See, they're both level 4s. And I have been playing for 4 hours, 10 minutes, 16 seconds already. And my skill level is a 1900, which I really don't know what that means. And I have 453 kills and 258 deaths, which is alright. And my next unlock is the suppressor, it says over there. And then it just shows you all your ribbons, your uh, medals, and all that. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. The, the, the stat and the reward system is pretty cool. Um, the weapon customization is, is where you get your, like, for my sniper rifle here, is the high power scope. The sniper scope is what you comes, like, comes... Uh, default with your sniper, but this just makes it like if you look at range there it is and then it moves up that much It moves up about two bars. So the high power scopes awesome the stock barrel You can keep or you can put on the range finder which increases your range, but lowers your damage which kind of sucks and then your open tip ammo which Isn't as accurate, but it's like a bar more of damage so that's pretty much what I keep on my sniper and then my spec ops and my rifleman don't really matter that much I just have red dot and extra magazine nothing really special in that I just care about my sniper rifle a lot but yeah that's it you can also go press star and uh, change your clan tag if you want but I don't need a clan tag so um, I guess that's it guys that is the unlock tree for the medal of honor um, hope you guys go out and buy this game and have fun peace